morning everyone. We're here with uh, Tim and Bella from uh, Live Japan. Good morning. We'll just wait a little bit more for more people to come in. Morning Dina. Oh, it's such a beautiful day, huh? Yeah. Really lucked out on the weather. Yeah, the, this weekend was like kind of rainy and windy and oh, it's just such a beautiful day in Tokyo today. Good morning. Hey, Sean. Hey, Sheen. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right. Well, let's get started. So we're here on a beautiful Monday morning in Tokyo. Good morning, Mommy. And uh, we're on the banks of the Meguro River over here in Nakameguro. Uh, this is one of the really famous places in Tokyo to come and watch the cherry blossoms and we'll be walking down the river a bit and seeing what we see and at the end of our program we'll show you some of the cool sweets that people have during sakura season in Japan so let's let's take a walk Hey, greetings from Tokyo. So actually behind us is Nakameguro Station and I'll show that to you in a moment. And right underneath are all of these just gorgeous cherry blossoms. Yeah, it's so cool, huh? It'll get a little bit noisy with the train. And then uh, we'll get into more of the quieter area. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the, uh, the most perfect season right now. Um, we were a little bit worried because uh, we had a lot of rain, and every time it rains, all of these go in the river. <laughs> so we had uh, the, the first cherry blossoms opened around the 20th, which was uh, a little bit later than last year, but kind of around normal. So here in Nakameguro, um, there's about 800 or so trees of sakura just along the banks. And this year, because of COVID, unfortunately, a lot of the cherry blossom events were cancelled.
but you know, people still find a way to enjoy. <laughs> oh, thanks. So, uh, Miho said that uh, she feels like it. She's also here with us. Oh, we're so happy. So, Bella, this is your first time here? This is my first time to Nakameguro and my first time seeing the sakura along the river here. Well, what do you think? I think it's amazing. There are a lot of areas in Japan and Tokyo where um, you can see sakura, but you don't usually see this many all together in such a long row. So I think it's pretty amazing. Yeah. And we really lucked out with the um, timing because I was just reading before I got here that the sakura here are in full bloom exactly tomorrow. So wow. we got really lucky with the timing. This is pretty much as perfect as they're going to be. You hear that, guys? This is pretty much the, the most perfect timing. So we're in Nakamegro, which is on the west side of Tokyo. Not too far from Shibuya. Yeah, it's, it's actually just kind of almost next to Shibuya. Have any of you guys been here before? So in normal years, um, there would actually be, like here, there would be a bunch of lanterns on both sides of the river. And they would have um, names of different vendors uh, of the area for su like uh, supporters of the, uh, the Sakura Festival here. Uh, Troy. Yeah, you mentioned uh, you're going to supposed to be here in March for uh, first trips for your family, both canceled. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's one of the reasons we wanted to <laughs> do a live video this year. Oh, there's a Megaro River sign. Yeah, the atmosphere really is pretty amazing here. Um, I was thinking about where to take everybody this trip, and I thought, well, Nakamegro is, is one of the, um, probably one of the most iconic spots in Tokyo for cherry blossoms. And with views like this, you can totally see why. You know, it just looks like snow. You know, it's, it's so amazing. Yeah, we're really happy that we can uh, bring this these kinds of scenes to you too.
Yumi says it's a happy morning. Oh, <laughs> it really is. So, in normal years, um, in the evening, there would be a lot of food stalls that uh, people would put out um, over here, for example. Hey, so uh, thanks for your question, Arnell. Do sakura, well, have a smell? Um, you know, not so much. Like, uh, it's a very, very light smell. Well, what would you say, Bella? Um, yeah, it doesn't... They don't have that much of a smell unless you get quite close. Um, but there are a lot of things you can buy with, like, sakura scent. Um, and uh, lots of sakura-flavored food and stuff. And those are a little bit floral. It's not a super strong smell or taste, but, um... Uh, you can def they definitely have products rather than the actual tree, if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, we'll show you guys a little bit later, but uh, sakura have a very light smell. Um, you know, just like a kind of a, a regular cherry. But uh, um, what Japanese will do is they'll pickle the leaves and use them in different sweets. So we brought something today called uh, sakura mochi, which is a traditional snack that people will eat around this time of year. Um, Troy asked, are these trees cared for by the municipality? They look really well cared for. Great question. Um, yep. <laughs> uh, to answer your question, yeah, that, that's uh, our understanding. Um, each place has... Uh, you know, sort of like a caretaker settle, um, you know, help out with the trees. Uh, this is also a public area, so that's taken care for by the city. So we'll continue going in. So just a quick word about Nakamegro. Um, it's pretty much a residential district. There is some light commercial, like a cute cafes and stuff like that are all over the place here too. Uh, it's a really calm and a nice place to visit. Uh, Sunny asked, like, when will Japan open for tourists? Yeah, unfortunately we don't know. Um, we're hoping as soon as <laughs> as soon as things calm down with Corona, but um, as soon as we know, we'll be sharing about that on our our Facebook page. Yeah, it sort of looks like snow, huh?
Did anyone have any questions about like spring in Japan or cherry blossoms? Brenda says hi from Dubai. Hey, good morning. Julia says amazing. Thanks. <laughs> We're so happy we can share this with you. Casey asks, how many different colors are there? Um, that's kind of a tricky question to answer. There's so many different colors, actually. Um, these ones, I believe, are uh, Somiya Yoshino, which are a particular variety that has a... I mean, it looks kind of white, but it's actually a super pale pink. Let's see if we can focus. There we are. Um, there are different colors of pink that you'll find. So some are like really kind of deep pink, others are, you know, sort of like this where it's kind of a, a whiter part and then a little bit pinker on the inside, for example. Mary asked, do peach and palm blossoms run around the same time? Um, very good question. Like a uh, plum blossom season is kind of more in February, but you might be able to see both around the same time uh, just sort of like with a little bit of an overlap yeah uh, Tyresha asks like is it breezy chilly here uh, what's the weather usually like really good question um, I'm actually in uh, short sleeves but I think most people are in like uh, with a light jacket um, I think right now it's it's uh, well, 13 degrees Celsius. So, what's that? Like, uh, um, maybe like a 60s uh, Fahrenheit or so. Um, it's a little bit breezy today. Um, you know, just a, a nice kind of cool breeze. Spring, right around now, is uh, typically this kind of weather. Um but then in a couple of weeks or so, we'll start seeing a lot more uh, rain, actually. Um, earlier in the week, it was actually kind of cold and a little bit rainy, actually. Um, but this season in Japan, around uh, March and April, it can really have some cold days and some warm days as well. So um, we've been quite lucky that today is one of the warm days. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's sort of that like startup time, <laughs> you know, like the uh, the season's just starting to come in. Um, Alana asks, like, how long does cherry blossom season last? Really good question. Um, so these blossoms will bloom for about a week, a week and a half, and usually will start falling down into the river and, and other places. Um, yeah, very, very soon after that. Uh, usually with the first big rain, a lot of these will start disappearing. Um, but there's something called the cherry blossom front. And what will happen is, um, you know, basically from Kyushu, well, Okinawa and uh, Kyushu, which is in the west of Japan, and sort of goes up to Hokkaido in the north of Japan. Um, you can sort of follow th the uh, the cherry blossom forecast, and uh, you know start seeing things um, in bloom from usually um, kind of the middle of March up until uh, even like what I think late April in Hokkaido uh, this year. Late 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 April or early May even. So 
Um, the further north that you go, the uh, that's kind of the way that you can enjoy the uh, the blossoms for longer. So we'll continue up. Yeah, Brenda mentions about a week, Sakura will fall down on the streets, which is another awesome view for travelers. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Um, you know, you, you start seeing Sakura petals pretty much everywhere. I just posted a link in the comments to this year's Sakura forecast, if anyone wants to give that, check that out to see um, whether Sakura are going to start blooming next. Yeah, thanks for doing that, Bella. So in just a few moments, we'll sort of show you some of the, uh, the sakura treats. So Engelbert asked, after the cherry blossoms bloom, do they have cherries? Um, the answer to that is, in some places, yes. Um, Kind of depends on the type of cherry. Can you eat those cherries? Generally, we don't eat <laughs> those cherries, though. Yeah, um, they're not really the uh, the edible type. And this is kind of a famous bridge. Yeah, let's uh, open up the sakura emoji. So this time we brought, we wanted to show, um, well, what do people like to snack on <laughs> during cherry blossom season? So there's a lot of different things. Um, people will do what's called a hanami party or a cherry blossom party. And, um, you know, usually have different kinds of drinks, different foods. A lot of it's uh, like fried and usually sushi as well but um, at convenience store like convenience stores or uh, convenies and a lot of uh, supermarkets you can find something called sakura mochi and other kinds of treats so a lot of um, like cafes and stuff like that will also share um, like a sakura lattes and things like that so, let's see. These are something called sakura mochi. And what it is is like a sweet pounded rice. That's um, actually you know, just sort of like a, um, sort of like sushi rice, but uh, just pounded a lot until it's it's super soft and uh, just kind of like a sweet. And um, inside is like a sweet red bean. And it's kind of like a, a, a nice, really sweet paste. 
and then outside you'll see this is a pickled um, sakura leaf and you know it it has um, you know the a question before was well what do cherry blossoms smell like and the answer was sort of like well not not like so much um, but they do have a, a very interesting taste which sort of uh, you know it's it's sort of like um, a little bit salty a little bit tangy yeah quite interesting what, what would you say Bella um, I agree it is because it's pickled it does get a bit salty just a little bit bitter but still sweet at the same time um, and in these traditional sweets it's very much the sakura flavor that comes through but in drinks like um, uh, sakura sweet drinks or sakura flavored chocolate and stuff a lot of times in Japan they actually mix it with um, strawberry flavor because they have the same color but sakura uh, sorry strawberry is just a little bit sweeter so um, a lot of the times those two flavors are mixed together yeah so you get a little bit of that sort of like a sour sweetness from the strawberry together with the uh, um, the uh, the sakura flavor yeah it's, it's super nice So we'll continue on just a little bit more. And walk with our mochi. <laughs> Yay, sakura mochi. Ivy says they look too cute to eat. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. A lot of sweets, uh, yeah, you sort of feel guilty about eating them, actually. Yumi says there are a lot of sakura items in Japan. Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, just, just a lot of themed desserts, themed sweets. Um, as well as the regular things themselves. Well, guys, we hope that you enjoyed today's little soccer walk. Next month, we'll be doing another live from uh, actually a, a little bit of a different location. So please look forward to that. And uh, hope everyone has a wonderful day or evening wherever you are. Thank you so much for joining us.